So I just got back from a week long holiday and I'm feeling so much better for it. But usually when I get back from a trip, I can have anywhere up to a thousand photos or an hour worth of footage that I've shot whilst I'm away. But this time, this is all I took. Why did I take so little? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about today. Hi, I'm Ed. I'm a filmmaker and editor based in London. You know, this might seem like a strange subject for a video, you know, why do we need to watch a video about taking time off? But for my recent holiday, I really had to make a conscious effort to make sure that I actually took time off and took a break. And that's because before I went away, I was totally burnt out. I mean, it was a textbook case. I'd been working relentlessly for months, you know, long days, evenings, weekends, across multiple projects with different clients, you know, and on top of all that, I thought it'd be a really good idea to start this YouTube channel and keep up a weekly posting schedule. I'm sure there are many professionals, freelancers and creatives out there who struggle with time off and will understand how easy it is to become exhausted and burnt out. And as someone who has turned a hobby into a professional craft, I often struggle to draw boundaries between what I consider work and what I consider play. You know, as a freelancer as well, taking time off can be tricky, projects can overlap and stack up, and before you know it, you know, you might have a three, four, five, even six month stretch of work and you can't find any space within that to take time off. And I think for many it's also easy to slip into this mindset of time equals money. I know I can often fall into that. Uh, if you just work a few extra hours in the evening or sacrifice a weekend, then you can take on a bit more work and earn some extra money. And it kind of like you're gamifying your time. And when you equate your time as just an opportunity to make money, then, well, of course, you begin to devalue time off uh, because you don't see it as a money making opportunity. You know, and that's just a really counterintuitive way to live. You should see time off as a vital part of the creative process. If you spend all your time working, then you're going to burn out and your work is going to suck and you're not going to be very fun to be around. I think also as creatives, social media also further blurs the boundaries between the professional and the personal. Uh, I know since starting this YouTube channel, my time off has often been filled uh, with opportunities to create content. And before I know it, you know, when I'm going away on trips or on holidays, I'm filling up my suitcase full of camera gear and spending a lot of that time whilst I'm away thinking about capturing stuff and how I can spin that into a YouTube video. And that's not time off, you know, this causes a lot of problems. For one, my mind is never really getting a rest when all this stuff is happening. My overall creativity, my well-being and my health suffers. Um, but, you know, and it also affects my personal relationships um, because I'm not as present, I'm, I'm preoccupied. So when I had this holiday coming up, I really needed to make sure uh, that it was a holiday uh, and that I didn't bring my work with me. And as a result, I barely touched my camera uh, when I went away and I feel loads better for it. It was really nice to step away from it and have a break. And these are some of the steps I took to make sure that the holiday was really a holiday. First of all, if you're going away, then just mentally acknowledge it. Tell yourself you're not going to use this trip as an opportunity to create content. Don't plan a project around it. Don't plan to come back and spin a YouTube video out of it. You know, don't turn it into some travel vlog or whatever. Just don't place any expectations around capturing content and don't let content creation guide you. Probably the most important element is giving yourself permission to just do nothing. I think this is the most important, obviously, you know, we often view doing nothing negatively as it isn't considered <laughs> productive, but it's really important to take time to disconnect from work, um, you know, when you're away to go on walks of no destination, you know, get stuck into a book, catch up on movies you miss, you know, just take your mind elsewhere. I think the key here is to really move away from the sensation of guilt we associate with being unproductive. I just think that's so unhelpful. Obviously, set an out of office alert on your email and then log out if you can. This is really important, you know, resist the temptation to even check in on your emails or your social media. Sign out of that as well if you're, you know, particularly likely to spend a lot of time doom scrolling. Obviously, tell your clients before you're going away that you won't be working or responding to requests and try to tie up uh, as many of your loose ends before you go away. Obviously, limit the gear you bring with you. 
<laughs> don't pack a whole bag full of lenses and camera equipment because if you bring them you're probably going to use them you know i'm not saying don't bring a camera with you but just be sensible you know on my recent holiday i brought my lumix uh, S5, a DSLR, uh, and I just brought one lens and one battery and one SD card, and that was about it. And I made a conscious plan not to bring the camera out with me, not to put it in my bag as default. So in the end, I think I brought the camera out once or twice. Obviously don't bring your laptop, that's something we associate with work, and I think if you're bringing work items along on a holiday, then you bring certain baggage with you. I found it's really useful just to bring an iPad uh, if I want to watch movies on, because that's something I associate with leisure and pleasure, um, and not something I generally use with work. This is another one that sounds really obvious, but book time off in advance. Um, if you're a freelancer, it can actually be really difficult to know when to take time off. Beginning of year, block out a few weeks that are your sacred holiday weeks. Put them in your calendar, and whenever new work comes in, make sure you schedule around them. You don't have to book the actual trip, you know, when you're doing that, but as long as you've got that time protected, then you can't book anything in, because if you don't, I promise you, you'll end up booking work in in those weeks. So yeah, when I was away, I think I brought my camera out a couple of times and like I said, I feel so much better for it. But not have it sort of constantly at my side, nagging for attention like it always does if I bring it out with me. Since I wasn't always out there scanning the environment for the best light or composition, this felt so much more present and at peace. I was able to spend, you know, quality time with my partner, just sort of getting lost in this small town, walking around and sort of experiencing the sights and sounds and just not having really anything else on my mind. And it was just really relaxing and restorative. I'm so much happier, I have more energy, feel more relaxed, I'm sleeping better. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to getting back into professional work again. Obviously there's nothing wrong with spending your free time uh, on personal projects, that's not what I'm saying. But there needs to be time for rest too. There needs to be time where you have a clear boundary between work and rest. I think as humans, we're very sensitive to our environments and much of modern life and social media pushes this idea that you should be constantly grinding or always productive and pushing ourselves to be the best versions of ourselves. And I don't think this is specific to just creators. I think it's relevant to anyone who works too much. At the end of the day, you're a human being, you're not a machine, and we need to make peace with the art of doing nothing. And I think because all these things exist and the boundaries between work and play uh, are so blurred these days, we do often have to be more mindful of how we take time off to make sure that we are actually taking time off. You know, work is just work. It's not the meaning of life. You don't need to be the best. You don't always need to be making something um, you know, just do you. Give yourself permission to take time off, get lost in thought, go for a walk and relax. Live a little. See ya.